Memphis May Fire had just been released their fourth studio album, this being their third one on Rise Records. Does it top all their previous work? Let's find out. The first song put up by the band was actually the first track on the album. It's called No Ordinary Love. Now honestly, this sounds just like about everything else on Challenger, the last album, especially with the vocal style. I mean, the verses and the chorus, you really feel it, at least I do. And uh, you know, it kind of just feels like a continuation of that. So there's no change in style, it would appear so far on the first song that you hear from this album. Another song was released a few weeks later entitled Sleepless Nights. Now, the thing I like about this actually is it's a step up from the first track they released because it's much heavier and I really like that. Uh, the guitars in this song are really awesome. Uh, I like the vocals, it's a great chorus in this song. Uh, and what I really enjoy about the guitars actually is they sound uh, a lot different. You know, of course there's a great mix of breakdowns along with some great clean riffs which really kind of go uh, hand in hand together when you got a breakdown and straighten this clean riff in the chorus and then back into another breakdown. So yeah, definitely uh, picks up from the first song. One final song was streamed on Rise Records YouTube page before the entire album streamed uh, and that is called Beneath the Skin. Now something interesting actually is these are the first three tracks on the album. So I think taking the approach to release just the first three songs instead of you know, different songs pinpointing uh, off of the album. It was kind of an interesting choice to do. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, this song is pretty good. I like the mix of guitars on this one. Uh, I thought it was a great influence of cleaner guitars as well as some breakdowns, you know, less than I heard in the previous two songs. And uh, I really like Maddie's lyrics in this. Probably the best lyrical song up to this point before I heard the rest of the album. Uh, and yeah, it really matched well with his vocals because the instrumentals and his vocals just went really well in this song and just made me all the more excited for the rest of this album. To take a look at the rest of this record, I must say the band has really matured over the years. Uh, and it's really hard for metalcore bands nowadays to keep with the same style and keep fans interested. But I really think that Memphis May Fire does a great job of honing their sound and only improving it record after record. In an interview last year, the band actually said Said, and I quote, uh, the album will have more of a theatrical feel. And uh, also they said it'll be like the soundtrack to an action movie. Uh, so something I thought was really interesting after a few listens, I kind of saw what they said and without being a concept album, I thought about it. I said I can kind of see where they're going with this. Um, and telling a story, without actually telling a story of course, uh, you kind of move through each song, if you listen to the lyrics carefully, you're like, okay, and you, you go onward. Again, not a concept album, but I can see what they were saying. And you know, it's kind of like if you were to pay attention to a movie, but you know, going through an album instead of watching it on TV. So, you know, it's something kind of cool. I, I found it interesting for the band to say that. I'm sure some listeners will just say this is just another metalcore record. And I can understand where you're coming from, but after the first three tracks, I truly believe that the instrumentals really change up and it's not just another mediocre record. Uh, something that really sticks out is there's a lot more use of uh, guitars. I mean, there's some orchestral stuff on this album that really sticks out. Um, of course, you know, breakdowns will stick out like any metalcore band because that is the basis of what everyone thinks about when it comes to metalcore is breakdowns. But yeah, like I said, when you get into this album, it's actually way more diverse than it seems. Not completely diverse, of course, but you can definitely hear something different that is not just a pure metalcore album. Of course, as I mentioned, with a metalcore band, there's going to be a fair amount of breakdowns, which you will see in a lot of songs on this album. Uh, but what I really like is that uh, in a lot of the songs, when the chorus hits, you know, there's a slick instrumental set. I really like. Uh, progression that goes into that and when a chorus hits you know Maddie's vocals match really well with uh, all the instrumental section you know all the guitars and bass and drums they hit just really well and you can kind of feel just a great tempo change it's almost every song you get to see a chorus come in and it's just like whoa it's like a completely different thing and it really hits the ears uh, some songs that are really noticeable on is actually not enough the answer and the rose in Memphis May Fire fashion, of course the band features some of their slower, softer songs, which I really enjoy because I honestly feel like these could actually draw more emotion out than a lot of their heavier songs. Uh, the first one you get to see is actually Speechless on this album, which I gotta say I really loved. It's a softer song, all clean vocals from Maddie, and honestly I feel like it's a sequel to Miles Away from Challenger, and it's just the way that, uh, of course, you know, instruments are a bit different, but it sounds so similar, similar to the way that uh, Miles Away will go into the song and lyrically it kind of sounds like a continuation. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really enjoyed it. Really soft and relaxing to listen to and just a beautiful song. Uh, and the second song you actually get to hear like this is Need To Be. Uh, this is not as soft, but again, it's a, a slower song. 
and I like the instrumentals on this. There's a bit of orchestral stuff in this, which is really noticeable. Uh, I don't know if it's on a lot of other songs, so I need to listen more closely. But in this one, you can notice uh, definitely some different instrument sets, which is really awesome. I like that. And uh, something else that's noticeable is it's more of the whole band, and not just you know use of a piano or some kind of background instrumental that you know you couldn't really tell about otherwise. And yeah, so it's really cool to incorporate the whole band in this uh, more of a soft ballad type of song. Really cool. I enjoy both of these songs. Honestly, I think this album could have a little bit uh, for all fans of metal and metalcore to enjoy. Uh, of course, there's breakdowns, there's some great screams, even better clean vocals. I love Maddie's voice. Uh, although his screams are awesome, I feel his cleans are a little bit better. Uh, you know, I really enjoy uh, the heavier songs. I also love the slower songs. Um, so yeah, I think in, in rating this album, uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Because it doesn't, it's not a game changer, you know, it's not something that's going to change my life. But I really, I will say, you know, this band keeps going and uh, they haven't really changed their sound at all in the last few albums. If anything, they're getting towards more of a heavier rock. I know, but, but with a lot of breakdowns, it's still hard to get to a rock setting when you're a metalcore band. If you look at someone like Mice and Men, they went with more of a new metal type sound. And it worked out for them. It was a really catchy album. And on this, they kind of stuck with the same... Uh, type of attitude and everything about it. Nothing really changed, but it's not a bad thing. You don't need to change the formula of your band to make something refreshing and to keep fans interested. I think any fan of Memphis May Fire is going to love this album. I know I'm going to pick it up. Definite add to your collection. And like I said, 8.5 out of 10. Solid record. Go buy it when it comes out. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching my review of Memphis May Fire's new album, Unconditional, which is coming out in just a few weeks off of Rise Records. Uh, if you want to listen to the album yourself, I'll uh, link it down below. It's streaming right now on Rise Records' YouTube page. Just got put up uh, a couple hours ago. And uh, yeah, I think that you're going to like it. Um, if you have listened and you want to talk about it, let me know down below. And if not, go listen, then come back and comment down below. Like the video and share it around with everyone. And uh, yeah, as of course, tell me what album you want to see reviewed down below. Uh, if you go on my Facebook page, you can actually see a list I posted today of uh, another five albums I have written up that uh, I have reviews written up for. And I'm working on many more. Of course, there's like ten I need to write up, so it's a slow process. But I'm getting it done. And uh, again, thanks for the support. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you want. Links are down below. It's at Griffey Overboard. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm wearing my Man Overboard t-shirt. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling on now. Comment, like, subscribe. And always remember, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, and music for life. Peace out.